I'm excited to hear about the training uh, for the facility, for the hospital, and also the preference for the workers. Um, I guess one of the things I read in the contract with they was the workers were allowed at least one year in advance to organize as relates to union. Um, do you know when they will be hired in order to be able to organize uh, prior to the hospital being built? I don't, uh, Council Member uh, White. I don't know exactly when they'll be hired, um, but there will be ample opportunities because the hospital is not slated to be uh, finished uh, for four years uh, from now. You know, once it, once we approve it and once they, the design is done and once they get started. So I think there will be absolutely ample opportunity for people to be able to, you know, once they're hired and, and they'll, they'll have a, plenty of opportunity to, to organize. I can't tell you a specific date, though, when that is. Okay, because uh, I was concerned about uh, how we how would they be all able to organize if they, we don't know who's going to be working there. And so um, my chief said Wanda Locks and I did have a conversation with them so we'll follow up to that particular question. Um, I am uh, happy, I know this is a separate conversation, that Howard University is uh, building a new hospital, um, which uh, will allow uh, doctors of color to practice. We still want to push and ensure that we do have doctors of color here on East of Anacostia River, where it's primarily uh, people of color on this side of the city. Um, and I'm also was happy that I've seen uh, during the, uh, doing the press release or the Zoom conference that the city administrator had to know that there was going to be a trauma center uh, at the hospital. I, I say there was a lot of pushback, even from me, for level one, level two trauma center. But I think that those questions were asked and answered during that. And so the community, at some portion, feel that eased about that. So I want to thank you for that. Um, do, so I wanted to ask a question about the about the tower being taken out. Uh, what, during that negotiation, uh, wh where would the additional beds then be to satisfy this agreement with the additional uh, beds for for the hospital if the tower is gone? You say the tower is gone. You mean the, the what? The water tower? At no, there was in the original contract. There was some subsequent beds that were supposed to be allocate, allocated by GW. They got a lot of pushback from the community and the ANCs um, mm -hmm. to satisfy this deal. Do you know particularly how that was hashed out to make us make us where we are today? Well, the, the, when the hospital uh, will be built, uh, it will include to begin 136 beds, uh, but it will be built in such a way so that structurally, um, as the demand continues to increase over the years, um, it can be increased to 196 beds. Uh, so there will be a substantial additional number of beds that will be added uh, that the structure will be put in place right from the very beginning um, in order to be added. As a matter of fact, uh, we had uh, Dr. Elaine Batchelor, who uh, is the CEO for the Martin Luther King Hospital uh, in Los Angeles. It was some of the advice she gave us because uh, we went out with uh, my staff, Eric Goulet, and also with uh, the uh, head of the hospital association. Uh, in the city. And she said, make sure you don't build this hospital too small. She said, it's a concern that we've had about our situation from the very beginning. And it's one of the things that had a major influence on our, um, uh, the way it's, what, the way the design will be done. So there will be um, the additional beds, an additional 60 beds capacity for that will be built on top of the 136 um, that will be built for the hospital to get started right away. Mr. Gray, I believe what Mr. White was asking was about the um, additional beds in what was going to be a tower at the Foggy Bottom Hospital. Oh, that, that's been eliminated. That was, uh, thank you for asking that question, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, we, I, I was trying to actually um, uh, let people know where we were with that. There will be no, uh, there will be no additional tower uh, included in this agreement, uh, and there will be no uh, CON exemptions that would allow another tower to be built. So if there ever were one to be built, um, the uh, operator of the uh, Foggy Bottom Hospital would have to go through a separate certificate of need uh, process uh, with shipment. Are there other questions or other members with questions? Yeah, can I have about three more seconds? Uh, do you mean three seconds? Or? No, I don't. I just said it doesn't make it sound good. 
Go for it. Uh, thank you, Councilman Gray. Uh, as far we've also been um, inquiring about the specialty services. Yes. Um, do you have any insight yet on what those specialty services have are going to be? Because we've been doing some research from my staff, trying to make suggestions based on the needs that we've been seeing uh, other hospitals have to take on as a result of people from Ward Seven and Eight coming across the river going to different hospitals. Do you have any uh, opinions or thoughts on that? Well, there will be. Um there will be uh, specialty services that will be included. Um, uh, they will include uh, a number of the special service, specialty services that uh, oftentimes are provided in uh, hospitals. And also, uh, we actually have news now, too, which I think is good news, with the uh, new um, uh, town center being built at Skyland. They're going to build a medical building there that will include 14 at least 14 or 15 additional specialty services uh, that will include include a host of uh, services like obstetrical care, uh, like uh, kidney uh, services, uh, renal uh, failure services, uh, general services, uh, general surgery uh, services, and a uh, host of other services that will be provided. So uh, we're going from having almost nothing, as you well know, uh, Council Member White, uh, to having a, a, a panoply uh, of special services that will be a part of the uh, ambulatory pavilion that will be located as a part of the hospital and then the additional medical building that will be built uh, in the Skyland Town Center. Thank you. Also, Councilmember Gray, I did read that there were about 100 nurses transferred from one part of the hospital to another part and they don't know how long they'll be able to hold those nurses over at United Medical Center. What is your, what do you think is the overall health uh, health of the United Medical Center over a period of time? And this is my last question. What, 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 um, what, can you ask, ask your question once again, Councilman Boyd? In, 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 the, in the time frame of building this facility versus keeping the United Medical current facility, uh, how sustainable do you think it is uh, to get us there over this period of time with the drastic changes happening now? And uh, we're at least about three to four years away from a new hospital being up and running? Well, there is no intention uh, that I know of uh, by the current operator, uh, Mazars, of uh, United Medical Center uh, to do anything but continue, uh, you know, what is needed to be able to provide uh, proper services for the patients who are uh, being served at uh, UMC. You know, one of the things that we have been challenged by is a declining uh, census at uh, UMC. So we hope that the prospect of a new hospital uh, being built um, will also continue to grow uh, the uh, census of people, the number of people who use the UMC. So if that happens, which we hope it will happen, um, I think that's going to you know, continue to create the demand for nurses, maybe even more nurses. That will be determined by Mazars that, that will run the hospital, current hospital at UMC, until the new operator is taking over and operating um, the, new, the newly built hospital uh, as we move forward over these next uh, three, four years. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember White. Are there questions from any other members?